AI, 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 generative AI, generative AI, generative AI, 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 it uses AI to bring AI, 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 AI. I think Google might be doing something with AI. Today, we're going to review all the announcements out of Google I.O. yesterday that have to do with AI, and there are a ton. Everything from BART upgrades to AI in many products that Google already has. But before we get into the video, let me talk about two new things on this channel. Number one, I just launched a Discord server. Please join me. Let's talk about all things AI. You can find the link in the description below. Number two, I just launched a Patreon page. If you want to help support this channel, become a patron for $5 a month. You get access to exclusive channels in Discord. You get to suggest future video topics. We could do live Q&As together. And of course, it's completely optional. I'll continue to deliver great content for free but the link is in the description if you wanna become a patron. Now let's get into the video. So Google I.O. just happened, and of course a lot of the announcements had to do with AI. Google is making a huge push to try to catch up with Microsoft and OpenAI on the AI front. Now of course Google already had a ton of AI functionality, but they really fell behind when these new generative models came out. When they launched Google Bard, which was a competitor to ChatGPT, it was kind of a flop. It didn't perform super well, although it has gotten better over time. Now at Google I they launched a bunch of new features with Google Bard. Let's go over those. First, a couple minor updates. You now have dark mode with Google Bard, which is welcome. You can also have visual search of your photos. It supports 20 plus programming languages, which is really nice. Although when I've tested it previously, it didn't really code very well, although that was a few weeks ago. They also launched a ChatGPT plugins competitor, so you can actually have plugins directly in Google Bard, which is really cool. And they're bringing Bard to a few other products, including Gmail, which we'll talk about now. So one of the coolest features from the announcements yesterday was that Bard is gonna live in Gmail now, and you can have a help me write feature in Gmail, which you just tell it the type of email you wanna write, it gathers context from your emails, from who you're typing to, and it'll write the email for you. This should save people a ton of time. I'm gonna test it out in another video, but it looks really cool so far. Next, what was a surprise announcement to me is that Google and Adobe are partnering together to bring Bard and Adobe Firefly together. Now, if you remember, I've reviewed both of these products. Adobe Firefly is essentially a mid-journey competitor by Adobe. One of the really unique features is that it's trained on all of Adobe's images, which are completely licensed legally which I don't know if Midjourney can actually claim. So now you're gonna be able to generate art directly from Bard. Next, Google announced Gemini, which is a full multimodal model that allows text, video, images, audio, all from a single model. There seems to be a lot of multimodal foundation models lately. Uh, one was just released by Hugging Face, and they are really, really cool and mimic how the brain works. We intake all these different senses and then our brain processes it. Now these models can intake different forms of media and give you the output. And they said Bard will transition to the Gemini model and it is a direct competitor with ChatGPT. And in another partnership between Google and Adobe, they launched Aero, which is an augmented reality tool for creators. It allows you to put incredible graphics in augmented reality. One of my absolute favorite Google products is Google Photos. I use it it a ton and it has been amazing over the years. And now they're launching a ton of new features that are powered by AI. Some of them include being able to change the lighting of a scene, being able to remove elements of a photo that you don't like, and also you can adjust the position of different elements in the photo. And of course, one of Google's biggest products is Google Maps. And now they have an immersive mode, which looks absolutely insane. So this is like Street View on steroids. You can actually fly around the map in 3D in what looks like real time. And it knows the weather patterns, it knows the traffic patterns, and so it builds that into the actual flyover. Last, the model that has been powering many of Google's products over the years is called Palm. And now they just unveiled Palm 2, which is gonna power all of their products eventually going forward. Palm has multiple languages, coding ability, and is trained on 100 plus different languages. It also comes in four sizes based on parameters, gecko, otter, bison, and unicorn. And they're gonna be releasing this to developers to build on top of. So you can really tell Google is going all in on AI and is really allowing everybody to build on top of them now. I'm super excited for these announcements. Sundar, the CEO of Google, really has aligned the company around AI and it shows. If I were to give a critique of all of these announcements, it seems that Google is adding AI to all of their existing products rather than really having a disruptive 
new product and a new way of thinking about things. Now, their cash cow, Google Search, is a money printer that has never been seen before in the history of business. So I understand why they wanna protect it and extend it rather than really coming up with something new. So those are all the announcements. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.